welcome, my name is Paloma and this is Paloma Beauty. Now today I'm going to be going through all my current favourite products. We've got skincare, we've got makeup, we've got some hair care stuff. So to dive right in, I am going to start off with skincare. Now some of these favourites that I have have been favourites for months, some of them I've only been using in the last few weeks but obviously can't put them down. So to start off with, I have been using the Sephora Super Serum, the C plus C Vitamin Serum for about five months now and I love it. It's really moisturizing, really hydrating. It doesn't, super, it doesn't feel like super greasy on your skin, which is good. It actually soaks in really nicely. So I just use it before a uh, moisturizer, uh, usually at night time, but sometimes during the day. And it's just a really nice consistency and I've had this for months and it still haven't finished. So yeah, I really recommend that. I just buy it off the Sephora website, but obviously you can get it in store as well. All right, my next current favorite product is from the... Let's wait for that car to go past. Jeez. All right, my next current favorite product is from The Ordinary and it is a Granactive Retinoid. It's a 5% one and it's in squalene. So it's quite oily. It's Retinoid, I find there's so many retinoid products out at the moment, it's really hard to find one that suits your skin tone. Now, if I just use retinoid by itself, I find it a little bit harsh on my skin sometimes if I use it every day, but when it's in squalene, I hope I'm saying that right, but when it's in that product, it just keeps the hydration up a little bit and keeps your skin nice and moist, which is really good. So you can get these from Priceline, I think they're like $20, which is pretty good. I've had this for months, you only need a couple drops. I I alternate between these two. I don't use them both at once because they're both oily products. So I'll either use this one or this one. When I do use this at night, I leave it to soak in for about 15 minutes before I put in my moist before I put my moisturizer on. So really love that. I do sometimes use it during the day if I'm not going out anywhere, I'm not putting any makeup on. So yeah. Current favorite chips. Okay, sorry guys, I'm eating at the same time, hungry. Okay, now the next product I've been loving is from Revolution Skincare London. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of like a reflective label, it's hard. Um, it's called the Snow Mushroom Serum. It's a hydrating and conditioning skin serum that I like to use before my oils, uh, just so it kind of soaks into my skin. Now, it's kind of like a clear runny consistency so it's not like unbelievably hydrating but it definitely adds like a nice layer of hydration to your skin and it's great under makeup as well you can get these from Priceline I think they're like ten dollars and they have heaps of different ones All right the next product I've been using for like eight months I'm on to my third bottle this is a revolution skincare London so same as the serum it's called the caffeine energizing essence spray with citrus extract so long name, but I love it. I usually use it like after I've done all my skincare, my moisturizer serums and everything. I use it before makeup. Sometimes I use it after makeup, but it adds just like a really nice, almost tacky kind of hydration to the skin. And yeah, it just makes your skin feel really plump. It smells really nice and it's just really refreshing, especially throughout the day. If you, you know, just at home, and you're feeling a little bit dry. I like to just spray my face and just freshen up my skin a little bit. So really good. Again, from Priceline, super cheap. And I definitely recommend they do have a few different, um, they do have a few different scents with this one, but I like the citrus one. I feel like I have a lot of skincare products, which I do. And right now I have been using the Ava Society Anti-redness cream cleanser. I've also been using the green tea infused hydrating moisturizer The packaging is quite faint so you might not have to see what's written on there But I had a free skin consultation with someone from Ava Society over Instagram, which was really awesome And they tailored these products to my skin needs now the anti-redness cream cleanser has jacaranda and elderflower and milk thistle It's a really creamy you can see the color it's a really creamy cleanser it doesn't foam up which is what I love because foam cleansers really tend to dry out my skin so this one balances calms and heals and it's vegan cruelty free and made in Australia so it's all the good stuff which is great it's in a glass bottle too which is awesome for the environment less plastic the better and yeah I've been using this for about only about three three weeks now 
and I love it so far it's really gentle you can't remove your makeup with it but it's really gentle on the skin and it doesn't dry it out which is awesome and then the moisturizer that goes with it has green tea desert lime and hyaluronic acid in it and this one hydrates soothes and nourishes again cruelty free vegan made in Australia I love this I feel like I'm gonna repurchase this one I've already used quite a bit of it in the last few weeks it's adds a really nice layer of moisturizer to the skin it's not greasy it settles in really nicely and I use it morning and night and I find it is enough hydration especially for my dry skin so I highly recommend this one definitely worth a purchase so I just wanted to add in the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Now this has been a favorite of mine for many years now. It's such a consistent product in my skincare routine. I use it to remove heavy makeup, light makeup. It's just so good, it's nice and gentle. I use the normal to sensitive skin and it removes face, eyes and lips. It's also hypoallergenic and fragrance free. So if you have really sensitive skin, I highly recommend this as a makeup remover. It's so good. I know it's not like a current favorite, it's just an all time favorite of mine. All right, moving on to makeup products. The first one I wanted to mention is the L'Oreal Infallible Magic Essence Drops. It's this one here. You might've seen it in a couple of my makeup tutorials. I've obviously used quite a bit already. I love this. It is a brightening primer and it adds a really nice layer of hydration. It's cooling as well. And it really helps in keeping your makeup last all day, which is fantastic. Now the next products I wanted to mention are the Maybelline Fit Me Foundations. I have the Matte and Poreless one and also the Dewy and Smooth. I just mix those two shades together because I'm quite pale at the moment and those two shades work quite well. Now I love these foundations, they're such like a cult favourite. They have probably that medium coverage, you can build it up to full coverage. They don't look cakey, they wear, out, they wear so nicely throughout the day and they have a really good shade range especially if you have like more yellowy skin like me, you can find uh, a shade that'll match that. I find sometimes with pharmacy brands especially, it's hard finding a foundation that's got a bit of a yellow neutral undertone. So that's what I love about the Fit Me. They have really good shade range. And if you've got dry skin, you can use the Dewy and Smooth. If you've got oily skin, the Matte and Poreless is really good for that. It's not like super matte to the point of drying out your skin. It's just like a nice soft matte, which I love. So definitely recommend that. I've bought maybe like 15 bottles in my life. It's kind of concerning when I say that out loud. But yeah, love it so much. I would definitely keep using those. All right, the next product I've been loving for the past couple of weeks is the L'Oreal Wild Bronze Glow Bronzer. It's in the shade La Terra. Now it's awesome because it's a super big compact which is great. So it'll last forever. It's really pigmented so you don't need to you know with it shove your brush in there to get some color payoff which is awesome and it's quite a warm bronzer it's not super orange but you wouldn't want to contour with it because it would just look a bit funny with the color and it's quite it's not sparkly but it's not matte it's got kind of like a satin finish to it a little bit of a glow which is really nice so that's from Priceline if you live in Australia super affordable which is awesome all right, the next product is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. If you've been watching my last couple of videos, you've noticed I've been using this quite a lot. This is what the wand looks like here. I compare it to the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, I like the shape of the wand. Now this mascara is super black, very volumizing, but doesn't clump your lashes, adds length, and yeah, I just love it so much. It holds a curl, which is really great. So definitely recommend that one. Now for my brows, I have been using the Plump and Set Brow Artist by L'Oreal, it's a brow gel. And I really love this brow gel because it has a super small wand. So it's nice and precise and it isn't messy when you apply it. I use the shade Dark Brunette, which I have it on today. And it definitely matches my roots, which is good. So love that. I've got like four of these on the go, which is a bit silly. Okay, now I've got two current favorite eyeshadow palettes. One of them has been a favorite for about a year now. It's the Zoeva Caramel Melange palette. Looks like this. Looks like this on the inside. So it's got really warm shades. It's got purple, like a bronzy color. Some really nice mattes. It's just a really good everyday palette. I really gravitate towards these three shades and this one up the top for an everyday look. But you can get these from Sephora. 
and they're only around $30 which I think is pretty good, especially for the quality of the shadows. And they have lots of different kind of color scheme palettes. I've got a natural one as well. And they've got some more colorful ones. So I love that really pigmented. There's not heaps of fallout or kickback and they're just really mm, buttery and smooth shadows, which I love. All right, the next eyeshadow palette that I've been using nonstop for the last few weeks is the Maybelline Nudes of New York eyeshadow palette. Now you get lots of nice, warm, delicious matte colors in there and obviously some shimmer colors as well. It's a really fantastic, just everyday eyeshadow palette. You can also create some more dramatic looks as well. It's a little bit powdery, you know, when you put your brush in there, but it's nothing too crazy. The shadows last really nicely on your eyes, especially if you use an eyeshadow primer or a concealer. Um, and I have quite oily lids and I think it works really well, like not creasing. So definitely recommend that. Now, another favorite product that I've just discovered the last few weeks is the L'Oreal Infallible Magic Setting Spray. Now, I love to use this to set my makeup. It says it's an all day matte finish setting spray. I find it's not too matte, like it doesn't suck the life out of my foundation, which is good. It's long lasting and it has a really nice mist to it which is really great. I can't... Yeah, it just feels really nice putting it on. Unless you like go really fast and really crazy, it kind of gets a little bit like droplet, lots of droplets on your face. But... Okay, so I do have a current hair care favorite. It is a L'Oreal El Vive Extraordinary Oil. It has six precious flower oils, magical shine, versatile use, and is for all hair types. Now I have really long hair, which I do get belly arched. So the ends get quite dry, especially from all the blonde treatments. So what I like to do is I put it in after I wash my hair, so when my hair's wet, or I put it in when my hair's dry just to kind of control the frizz and tone it down a little bit. And I put it in from about here down, because if I put it in too high, obviously my hair's gonna get quite oily. But I do love this. I've been using it for about six months and I've barely gone through it. So you'll definitely have it forever worth the money. And it just has a really nice shine and it's also a great heat protectant too if you're straightening or curling your hair. So definitely recommend that one. All right, so they are all my current favorite products at the moment. I love trying new makeup, so I'm sure my next favorites will have a few different products in there. But I wanna hear what you guys have been using, like what your favorite products are at the moment. So please let me know in the comments below. Maybe I could test out some of your current favorites in my next video. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.